ভিউয়ার্স ওয়েলকাম টু आवर शो ইংলিশ ফর ইউ আনন্দে আনন্দে ইংরেজি শিক্ষার অনুষ্ঠান হচ্ছে ইংলিশ ফর ইউ আরটিভি এবং ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার যৌথ উদ্যোগে স্কুল ভিত্তিক ইংরেজি শিক্ষার এই অনুষ্ঠানে বরাবরের মতোই আপনাদের সাথে আছি আমি মাসুক সিদ্দিক মূলত বাংলাদেশের স্কুল পর্যায়ের শিক্ষার্থীদের মাঝে আমেরিকান ইংলিশের চর্চা এবং ব্যবহার বাড়ানোই হচ্ছে আমাদের মূল উদ্দেশ্য এছাড়াও কুইজের মাধ্যমে মেধাবীদের মেধা ঝালাই সুযোগ তো থাকছেই ইংলিশ ফর ইউ অনুষ্ঠানে প্রিয় দর্শক আজকে আমরা চলে এসেছি চট্টগ্রাম সদরে অবস্থিত সিটি সরকারি বালিকা উচ্চ বিদ্যালয় যেখানে ক্যাম্পাসের এক ঝাঁক শিক্ষার্থী রয়েছে ক্লাসরুমে আমরাও চলে যাব ক্লাসরুমে কারণ ক্লাসরুমে অপেক্ষা করছে মিস্টার জেকব বার্লিন উনি একজন আমেরিকান নাগরিক উনি আজকে এই শিক্ষার্থীদেরকে আমেরিকান ইংলিশের বিষয় শেখাবেন আমরা চলে যাব ক্লাসরুমে কিন্তু তার আগে আমরা জেনে নেব এই ক্যাম্পাস সম্পর্কে বিস্তারিত প্রধান শিক্ষকের মুখ থেকে লেটস টেক আলো আমাদের বিদ্যালয়টি প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয়েছে উনিশশো সালে শুরু থেকেই চোদ্দজন শিক্ষক নিয়ে এই স্কুলটি প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয় সুরাশি সালের দিকে এসে সরকারিকরণ হয় বিদ্যালয়ের রেজাল্টটি মোটামুটি ভালো প্রতি বছর প্রায় ছিয়ানব্বই পার্সেন্ট সাতানব্বই পার্সেন্ট এরকম পাস করে বর্তমানে শিক্ষার্থীর সংখ্যা পনেরোশো পঁচাত্তর দুইটা শিফটে মিলে এসএসসি পরীক্ষার রেজাল্ট বরাবরই ভালো গত বছর দুশো উনিশ জনের মধ্যে দুশো বারো জন পাস করে একশো সাতচল্লিশ জনে প্লাস পাই ছাত্রীরা মোটামুটি বিভিন্ন সামাজিক কার্যক্রমে জড়িত থাকে সাংস্কৃতিক কার্যক্রম খেলাধুলা ইত্যাদি থাকে রেগুলার খেলাধুলার ব্যবস্থা থাকে খেলাধুলা সাংস্কৃতিক ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ক্লাব এরকম চোদ্দটি ক্লাব আছে ওই ক্লাবগুলো নিয়মিত তাদের কার্যক্রম চালিয়ে যাচ্ছে এই ক্লাবগুলো থেকে স্টুডেন্টরা যা পারফরমেন্স করে যে দক্ষতা অর্জন করে এইটার মাধ্যমে তারা বিভিন্ন সময় বিভিন্ন প্রতিযোগিতায় অংশগ্রহণ করে চোদ্দজন ডে শিফট চোদ্দজন মর্নিং শিফটে চোদ্দজন শিক্ষক নিয়া চোদ্দো চোদ্দো আঠাশ জন তাও কর্মরত আছে বর্তমানে মাত্র পঁচিশ জন আমার ডে শিফটের সিক্স থেকে ক্লাস টেন পর্যন্ত ছয়টি ক্লাসে বারোটি সেকশন কিন্তু আমার শিক্ষক সংখ্যায় এগারো জন তাহলে বোঝা যায় কীভাবে স্কুলটা চালানো হচ্ছে এর ফরও আমি আমার শিক্ষকদের নিকট কৃতজ্ঞতা প্রকাশ করছি ওনারা এত পরিশ্রমের মাধ্যমে মোটামুটি রেজাল্টটা ঠিক মতো ধরে রেখেছেন ভালো রেজাল্ট অর্জন করছে এই বিদ্যালয়টিকে নির্বাচন করার জন্য আর টিভিকে আন্তরিকভাবে আমি ধন্যবাদ জ্ঞাপন করছি এবং আর টিভির মাধ্যমে আমি আমাদের কর্তৃপক্ষের কাছে অনুরোধ করব এই বিদ্যালয়ে শিক্ষকের পথ সংখ্যাটা সৃষ্টি করা অত্যন্ত জরুরি সত্যি আমি তথ্যমূলক কথাবার্তা শুনে নিলাম আমাদের শ্রদ্ধেয় প্রধান শিক্ষকের মুখ থেকে এরপরে বলেছিলাম যে চলে আসবো ক্লাসরুমে এক ঝাঁক শিক্ষার্থীর কাছে চলে এসে আছি স্টুডেন্টস আওয়ার ইউ অল তোমাদেরকে দেখে আমাদের অনেক ভালো লাগছে এবং আজকে আমাদের ইংলিশ ফরিউয়ের এই আয়োজনে তোমাদের সাথে উপস্থিত আছে আমেরিকান নাগরিক মিস্টার জেকব বার্ডি প্লিজ ইন্ট্রোডিউস ইয়ারসেলফ গুড আফটারনুন হাউ ইজ एवरीवन ডুইং টুডে গুড Thank you guys so much for welcoming me to your classroom. I hope you have as much fun as I will today learning and practicing English. Let's get started. At first, I would like to thank RTV and VOA working in collaboration for producing educative programs for the students, including different kinds of education institutions and including our school also. And if I want to say something about this kind of program, I would like to say that this kind of program actually encourages learners to learn effectively, focusing on vocabulary, spelling, pronunciation and accent of a particular language. Okay, thank you. <laughs> students, I want to say that you are the voice of America that you are the A to Z word of voting in the English language. এবারে আমরা চলে যাচ্ছি আমাদের ফার্স্ট ভিডিও দেখতে যেটি তোমাদের জন্য বানিয়েছে ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার ইংরেজি বিভাগ Hello, what are you guys looking at? 
I'm showing Ashley pictures of my girlfriend. We have so much in common, even small things. She can't whistle, and I can't either. And here's a picture of my boyfriend. <laughs> my family is big, and so is his. I don't like ball sports, and he doesn't either. We are made for each other. And so are we. Um, you have found perfect partners, and uh, so have I. Pete and Ashley are talking about people they love. They are putting two ideas together with connectors. Let's start with these two sentences. She can't whistle. Pete can't whistle. How do you put them together? Pete says, She can't whistle, and I can't either. You met someone, Anna? That's great. What's his name? His name is, uh, Buster Carter. Buster. Car -ter? It's just Buster Carter, Ashley. I like him and he likes me. We're a great couple. Hey, let's let's all get dinner tonight. Together. You can bring Buster. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to meet him. Thanks, Ashley. But he's really busy tonight with his uh squirrel collection. <laughs> Bye guys, gotta go. Anna, you lied. You lied. Now they think you have a boyfriend with a squirrel collection. Well, you need to tell them the truth. You don't have a boyfriend. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Ashley, Pete, I need to talk to you. This morning, I lied. Let me guess, there's no Buster Carter. What a surprise. I'm sorry. But later, I really did meet someone. And we have a lot in common. He's good at flying kites, and so am I. He likes to read comics, and so do I. I can play the ukulele, and so can he. He sounds perfect for you, Anna. Can he come tonight? That's the sad part. You see, he just got a job as a spy. And tonight, he leaves on assignment. Of course he does. But that's okay. Because now I know that there is someone out there made for me. Oh, it's late. I have to see him off at the train station. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Did you find any other connectors? Notice how the words are in a different order. In the part after so. Welcome back from the first video. Students, have you understood? Yes. yes. Want to explain? Raise your hand. In this video, they teach us about the usage of connectors. Here, Ashley, Anna, and Pete are talking about what's the diamond dozen among them. Connectors are the conjunctive words that are used to connect the ideas of two different phrases, sections, or sentences. In English, there are various connectors that can help us to make our daily conversations better. In English grammar, connectors are important because they aid in the logical formation of a sentence. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to explain this video for the students? In this video, we can see that a conversation took place among Pete, Anna, and Ishle about the people whom they love and showing the uses of connectors. Actually, we see we know that connectors are those words that are used to connect two or more words, sentences, phrases, or clauses. And connectors are actually very useful and essential devices uh, which uh, we can use uh, to write composition as a paragraph or any kind of writing that goes beyond single writing. Thank you, ma'am. Now it's your turn. Today we learned about a common word form that we use in everyday English, connectors. And I'm going to explain two ways we can use connectors, one in a negative sense and one in a positive sense. Again, we know that connectors connect uh, two or more ideas together. So let's take two ideas. I cannot fly. You 
cannot fly. So let's use a connector to put these two ideas together into one sentence, while sounding like a native English speaker. I'll write it on the board. Again, this is negative. Instead of saying I cannot fly, you cannot fly. I said I cannot fly, and you cannot either. I cannot fly, and you cannot either. Thank you guys for your participation. Back to you, Mashu. Thank you. I'm going to see a video. Yes. Okay, now the class is going to be done. I'm going to see you in the second video. Hello, I'm John Russell. Recently, we received a message from Iman, a VOA Learning English fan. Iman wrote, "I have always been interested in honing my language skills and would love to receive any tips or resources you might have for working on my accent. I'm sure many of you have questions similar to Iman. So, what can you do to work on your accent? Let's start by thinking about what an accent is." An accent is a result of a few things. First, it can be a consequence of producing individual sounds differently from how native speakers do. Second, it can be a result of using different stress patterns and different kinds of intonation. Third, it can be a result of not using linking or reductions in the way that native speakers do. We have explored all of these topics in previous videos. But in the next few videos, we will show you how you can use a special kind of technique to reduce your accent. This technique is a valuable skill that will serve you well in any situation. It is called self-monitoring, the ability to understand and recognize areas that you need to work on. I will show you how to use your phone, computer, or even a tape recorder to develop this skill. That's all for today. Keep up the good work. Welcome back from the second video. Students, have you understood? Yes. Want to explain? There, John Russell told about accent. There are more thing about accent like accent reduction. Accent reduction means to reduce a mother tongue interferes in how second language English speakers pronounce words. It is also known as. Accent modifiers or accent neutralization. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Our other subject is Mr. Jacob Barley. Our subject is Mr. Jacob Barley. Now, we have British and American English. Some parts of it are covered. Some areas are covered. So, these areas are covered. So, we have to be sure. As we were just learning about accents, we also were learning that in this world there are many different types of Englishes. And today we're going to look at some of the common differences between British English and American English. We'll look at vocabulary, spelling, and pronunciation. Let's start with vocabulary. One common vocabulary word difference between British and American English is where we hang our clothes. In British English, we call this、uh, most commonly a wardrobe. And in American English, we often don't say wardrobe; we say closet. And talking again about some of the differences in clothes, in British English, people use the word trousers. But instead of trousers, in American English, people say pants. Good. You guys have done a lot of preparation. Okay, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you guys. What are some differences in vocabulary? Raise your hand if you can think of a difference. Yes, center right here. A place which is used by a person for living is called flat in British English and apartment in American English. Thank you very much. Okay, let's look at some spelling differences. Okay, one spelling difference, and it's also a bit of a vocabulary difference, is the past tense. For instance, learn. In the past tense, American is learned, ed. But many of the past tense、uh, verbs in British English are pronounced and written with a t, learnt. Okay, another、uh, spelling difference is something we、uh, all wear: jewelry. British English spells that with a double l and an e. But many of the words that end in double L in British English 
just have a single L in American English. Okay, now it's your turn. Can you think of any spelling differences? In British English, they spell center C E N T R E, whereas in American English, instead of R E, the spelling of center ends up with E R. So the spelling is C E N T E R. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent examples. Thank you so much for your participation. The last difference we'll look at is pronunciation. Pronunciation differences. Here's two words that are commonly mispronounced differently in British English and American English. In British English, I'll pronounce the word and then point to you, and you repeat after me with the same accent. This will help you understand better the differences. Ready? British accent, vitamin. American accent, vitamin. British accent, herb. American accent, herb. Okay, now it's your turn. Who wants to share some pronunciation differences? Raise your hand. Uh, in terms of pronunciation, there is seen some differences between American English and British English. For example, this word, Z-E-B-R-A. In American English, the pronunciation will be zebra. Whereas in British English, the pronunciation will be zebra. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love hearing you guys practice English. You are doing a great job. Back to you, Mashuk. Thank you. I'm going to teach you how to do this. I'm going to teach you how to do this. I'm going to teach you how to do this. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Who will take part in this segment? Sadia and Gayatri, please come stand up. Hey, what's up? How's your life going? I am doing pretty good, but looks like you are in a deep thought. Anything serious? Well, a matter has made me really worried and the topic is child labor, which is considered as one of the most serious problems in Bangladesh right now. Yeah, you are right. The term child labor is defined as the work that depresses children from their childhood, from their potential and from their dignity. Exactly. From the survey of 2020-20, we find out that Bangladesh has almost 39.96 million children aged 5 to 17 years. Among these, 4.4% children are engaged with child labor. By the way, what can be the reason behind this problem? What's your opinion? I think that illiteracy, poverty, social norms or weak labor is mainly responsible for this act. Besides, the children are being forced to do these kinds of jobs because of their family crisis. Hence, they suffer a lot. It was nice talking with you. Take care. Catch you later. <laughs> Yeah. In second pair, there are Malubika Bhomik and Rituparna Dash. Stand up, please. Hey, what's up? I'm fine. What about you? I'm also fine, but you are looking very upset today. What's wrong with you? Actually, I'm worried about my friend Jasmine. She's addicted to drug. But why did she choose this option? I think she is in depression because I don't because she didn't get good marks in her last exam. I don't know how can I help her. Her parents are very tensed about it. But we can help her by informing how harmful drug addiction is. It causes serious damage in our lungs and it can affect our brain and badly influence our perception. It's not end yet. It makes people aggressive. Man can become desperate to get that stuff. It leads a man to death. You should make her realize that she must give up the habit. Thank you for your advices. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye. Now it's time for our third pair. Yes, in third pair, there are Shumuna Jaman and Tarin. Hi, Shumuna. Hello, Tarin. You look very pensive today. What happened? Actually, I'm worried about my friend Nusrat. She has been suffering from dengue fever. Currently, the impact of dengue fever has increased in our country. Nowadays, many people are being attacked by dengue. Yeah, that's right. At present, dengue is a name of fear. Dengue fever is origined by dengue virus. When a person is beaten by a mosquito that carries the germs of fever, the person becomes infected with dengue fever within 4 to 6 days. I know some symptoms of dengue virus such as high fever, severe body aches, red rashes and Nausea are also a part on body. Yes, I know that. You may heard that prevention is better than cure. Addis mosquitoes lay their eggs on water within three days. So, we should keep our surrounding neat and clean. Nice to have a healthy discussion about dengue. Thank you so much. My pleasure. For the fourth pair, ma'am. Fourth pair, there are Bidoshi Dash and Samia Hawk. 
Hey, what's going on? Nothing to write home about. What's up to you? As usual. Hey, do you know what's happened? What? Like yesterday, I visited the place of a friend of my father. There, I gotta know my father's friend was planning her daughter's marriage. So, what's special in here? Her daughter's underage. Like he was manipulating her daughter to get married as the boy is quite affluent. That's not fair. That's a forced marriage. I know, right? I'm just too afraid that she'll gonna get ripped off if she agrees to that proposal. Surely, she can do better in future if she denies it. But I think her family doesn't believe that. As if they don't have emotions. Along with that, transgenders are ghastly despised by the society. Couldn't agree more. People literally start escaping after seeing them. It will gonna take decades to change the mentality of our society without everyone's cooperation. We should work on it to turn even to turn a developing society into a developed society. That's all. Thank you. It's time for our fifth pair. In fifth pair, there are Rumi Akhtar and Mahmud Akhtar. Please stand up. Hi, friend. Long time no see. How is going? Good morning, dear. I'm fine. What about you? I'm not fine. I'm so tense right now. Why? Everything is okay. Nothing is okay. Final exam is knocking at the door, but I did not take any kind of preparation. What am I gonna do? Hey dear, don't worry. I hope you will manage everything. Can you please tell me about exam preparation? Sure. First, take your syllabus, then scheme it and highlight important things and chapter as you, as not as you should not read any other book, so your brain will work properly. Oh, thanks. I'm not tense right now. Thanks again for your comment. I have to go now because I'm late for my work. Oh, sorry. Goodbye. Hope see again. Hey, it's okay. Now, bye. Now, it's time for our sixth and final pair. In sixth pair, there are Noreen and Fabiha. Hi, Taiba. How are you? Hello, Noreen. I'm doing well. What about you? I'm not good at all. What's the matter? Yesterday, I did not reach my school on time and I missed my class test. Would you please tell me the reason? It happened for traffic jam. Oh, I see. At present, traffic jam has become a serious problem in Bangladesh. It has become our national problem. It's very harmful problem in our, in our daily life. Do you know why it occurs? Yes, I know. It occurs when many vehicles cannot move at a time. Also, there are many reasons behind the traffic jams. I see. Traffic jam creates many problems in our daily life. It kills our time. It wastes extra gas. People can't go to their working place in time. Students can't go to their school on time. That's true. Thank you so much for telling me. You are welcome. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> এই সেগমেন্টটি হচ্ছে কুইজ সেগমেন্ট এখানে তোমাদেরকে কুইজ জিজ্ঞেস করা হবে এবং সেখান থেকে যারা উত্তর দিতে পারবে সঠিক উত্তর তাদেরকে পুরস্কৃত করা হবে বয়স অফ আমেরিকার পক্ষ থেকে আর ইউ গাইস রেডি यस আমাদের প্রথম কুইজ হচ্ছে সিটি गवर्नमेंट বালিকা বিদ্যালয় কত সালে স্থাপিত হয় অনেকেই হাত তুলেছে সবার আগে হাত তুলেছে মনে হয় না ও হ্যাঁ 1974 সালে একদম সঠিক উত্তর मोबाइल फोन इंडिविजुअल डैश फ्रम नेटिव इंगलिस स्पीकार्स बोलते शून्य स्थान कि बस बंधुरा उत्तर जानाते पर्व पुरो भिडियो देख और सठिक उत्तर जान दाओ कमेंट बक्से उत्तर जानान शेष समय आगामी एगारो जानुरि रत आठटा प्रथम तीन जन और शेष तीन जन सठिक उत्तरदाता परवटी शेयरकारी के देव 
ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার পক্ষ থেকে আকর্ষণীয় গিফট আর সব সঠিক উত্তরদাতাদের জন্য রয়েছে আর টিভি ও ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার পক্ষ থেকে সার্টিফিকেট এবং টেলিভিশন সেটের সামনে বসে যারা দেখছে তারা যদি আমাদের এই আয়োজন থেকে বিন্দু মাত্র আমেরিকান ইংলিশ শিখতে পারেন সেটি হবে আমাদের অনেক বড় সফলতা প্রিয় দর্শক আজকের মতো বিদায় নিয়ে নিচ্ছি আমি মাসুদ সিদ্দিক আগামী দিন দেখা হবে আবারও অন্য কোনো ক্যাম্পাসে অন্য এক ঝাঁক শিক্ষার্থীর সাথে সবাই ভালো থাকবেন আল্লাহ হাফেজ